Hello, I'm Dr. Dennis McKenna. I'm joined today by Mary Alice Cullen. Mary Alice, great to have you here. Thanks. Glad uh, to be here. We'll chat a little <laughs> bit here in a second. Uh, today is uh, Thursday, December 22nd, giving you the update from Albany Med. All right, Mary Alice, I know you obviously very well. Uh, I, I'm sure our workforce does as well. But for those who may not be as familiar with you as, as I am, how long have you been here? What's your, what's your current role? Okay, so I've been here a little over five years. Uh, when I started here at Albany Med, I started as the Assistant Vice President for Women and Children's Services, so overseeing the Children's Hospital and all of our birthplace. Uh, I'm a nurse. And right now, since August, I've been the interim chief nursing officer here at Albany Met. Yeah. You're doing a wonderful job, Thanks. and you always have in all the different areas you work in. You're also involved in other things as well, obviously. The PFAC, what, what's the PFAC? So the PFAC is our Patient Family Advisory Council, something I'm very proud of. Dr. Ostrov and I, the, the chair, of OB, uh, chair of pediatrics, and myself launched that about two years ago. So it's a patient family advisory council and we have parents uh, who have had children who've had experiences all through the children's hospital involved in that PFAC. And we meet monthly and we put situations in front of them, quality and safety, uh, communication issues and they help us solve our issues so it's great yeah it, it really is best practice and I credit you and Dr. Ostroff you're like the dynamic duo the two of you great really partnership there and in some ways the PFAC work is a perfect example of why you are so successful it's about quality it's about safety it's about the patient experience it's about transparency, it's about communication, mm -hmm. all the things that you're really spectacular at so thank you uh, certainly glad to have you here and by the way nice sweater Thank in you. In the holiday season, Fred Gile? Yeah. Fred Gile? Very good. <laughs> All right. So let's jump into uh, some of the news uh, from the campus. So Dancing in the Woods occurred a couple weeks ago. We want to thank, obviously, everybody who made that happen. The 39th time we've done this, very mm -hmm. successful. Raised close to $550,000. Unbelievable. For the Melody Center at the Bernard and Millie Duker Children's Hospital here at Albany Med. Now, the Melody Center, I know, is something that's very important to you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're the region's only area where children with blood disorders and cancer can be treated. Talk about the Melody Center. So the Melody Center is special here. We take care of children who have cancer diagnoses and um, other blood disorders. Uh, we care for the children uh, on both the outpatient in the Melody Center and our inpatient areas. Uh, so it is a very important part of our mission. It sure is. It sure is. And, you know, we certainly thank the 600 people who came to help support that in the community. Obviously, everyone who organized it, including our co-chairs, who are fabulous. And uh, we have a wonderful quote from the chief of uh, pediatric uh, hematology and oncology, Dr. Ayanar. What did she have to right. say? So Dr. Ayanar had said that the generosity of all our sponsors and attendees help us deliver the most advanced care and maintain an environment that is so welcoming and comforting to our patients and their families. That included the Nunziato family, who were special guests at this year's gala, which featured a video that told the story of a 10-year-old, Olivia, who is currently being treated for cancer at the Melody Center. She was amazing. Olivia, yeah. she was amazing. I had a chance to meet her and her family, thank them for obviously being able to tell our story. Uh, which is what we do so well every year. It was really a wonderful event. And again, not only did it raise money, but awareness. And uh, we, we thank everyone who helped support that. Uh, so the DAISY Award is something, obviously, that you're very familiar with. Yeah. Every month we get the great opportunity to talk about who is this month's DAISY Award winner. What is the DAISY Award? So the DAISY Award is a national nurse recognition program that we participate here at Albany Med. And actually it was started by a family, yeah. another interesting corollary, uh, who had had a son who had been in the hospital and did pass away. And it was because of the great care that he got from nurses, this family started this foundation, the Daisy Foundation. So we, uh, uh, we uh, collect nominations from families. We get about 150 yeah. a month nominations from families who submit uh, recognition about our nurses here. Each of the nurses that yeah. gets nominated gets a pin, but then we award uh, one the month, uh, the big award. The big days award. The big so think about that, 150 times a month, a patient or a family writes up the great care they got from their nurse. That to yep. me is extraordinary. Yep. And if you walk around the hospital, you see nurses who wear their 
lanyards, and very proudly, some of them have, in many cases, a dozen or more pins from having been nominated. But obviously, each month there's one in particular who is the Daisy Award winner. This month, Mark Dave Davey uh, Puget, who is on M3, a very special unit transplant. Again, one transplant. of those things only Albany Med offers in the entire region, transplant. So what do we know about uh, Davey? So first of all, he was so touched by that's this award. Right. And I think that's the other nice thing. Yeah. It feels good to feel recognized. But his patient uh, nominated him and said, after I received my kidney transplant, my extraordinary nurse took the best care of me. Davey left me feeling empowered, well cared for, and seen as an individual, not just another patient or task to complete. Yeah, amazing. So congratulations to, da uh, to Davey, the entire M3 transplant team. As we talk about every month, they get the, the cinnamon buns, right? That's they get it. the cinnamon buns. The whole team. The whole team does. It's a does. team sport. So, speaking of team, you know, and transplant, we take this moment to recognize Dr. Neil Lampert, who uh, was a surgeon who recently passed. And Dr. Lampert was really one of the pioneers of transplant surgery here at Albany Med. Started the program and for many years ran that program. Extraordinary results. And the legacy that he built, passing it on to Dr. Conti and now on to the current team is one that I think we can never repay him. And you think about how many thousands of people in the area uh, who have benefited uh, from Dr. Lempert and his teaching and his research and his clinical care. So our thoughts to him and his family. So the other big end of the year event is the Employee of the Year. Now this is always very exciting and we had the great opportunity at the most recent Center Combined Leadership Meeting to announce the winner. Uh, I think, that, uh, once again, there were a significant number of individuals nominated. This individual in particular, I think, received over 100 different uh, people writing, writing them up. And this is uh, Brianna or Brie Caban. And she is a nurse down in the emergency department, which is obviously near and dear to my heart. And uh, it was wonderful. She also is married to a security officer here at Albany Med, so it was kind of a family event. And the, uh, I think the recognition was absolutely well-deserved. Talk a little bit about Bree. So Bree's an assistant nurse manager yeah. in the emergency department, and she often works weekends, holds down the fort sometimes at one of our most stressful times. Uh, so we were very excited to have a nurse win the award this sure. year, well-deserved. Uh, and she was very touched yeah. and she did say, and I know the conditions in the ED have been tough lately, she has said she would never work anywhere else. So uh, what I remember in particular about that is also she started here as a, a clerical individual. Uh, I think she was uh, an ASA. She moved up through the ranks through various nursing roles uh, while she went to nursing school and then obviously now has uh, moved up to an assistant nurse manager. So four or five promotions during her time here. I talk about this every Monday when we meet our new employees about how Albany Med gives you an opportunity for professional development. Mm -hmm. And I think she's a perfect example of it. Yeah. And she's a perfect example of resiliency and all the aspects of cares, compassion, accountability, respect, and engagement. So congratulations to her. And congratulations to Sharon Habenek, who yes. is featured on our internet page. She hasn't worked here that long, has she? How, it's mm, only a couple no. of years? Mm, just about 50. <laughs> 50 years. And uh, she also has had many positions in the, in the uh, hospital. Uh, she was the nurse manager once in the PICU. Correct. And then she transitioned over into the neurosciences. Yes. I think she taught the dean, Dean Bulos, a thing or two during, <laughs> during her days. Uh, and then retired and then came back. Yes. Right? So she retired for five minutes, and then she came back to work part-time in nursing supervision, but she really works full-time. And she participates on a lot of committees, uh, so she's very active in um, all of the process yeah. improvements that yeah. we try to put together. So. Yeah, she's a wonderful nurse, and just very positive, yeah. and just someone who's always been a pleasure to work with, so congratulations to her. So Mary Alice, it's the last video of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe just a couple thoughts on the season. Uh, obviously, we're, we're dressed for the season. I'm sure I'm gonna get a couple uh, text messages or emails about this later. <laughs> uh, but uh, obviously, we know that this time of year really is about getting together with loved ones and family. Uh, so Christmas, obviously, is right around the corner. Today is the uh, fifth day of Hanukkah. Uh, we know we have many members of our workforce who celebrate that. We know we have Kwanzaa coming up. I believe it starts the 26th, yep. is that correct? Uh, I know Ramadan sometimes is this time of year, but it's not till the spring. And some people just celebrate the season. 
And I know family is very important to you. You have three yeah. children. I believe it's uh, two sons and a daughter. Yes. Yeah. So you're going to spend some and time you with have the four. I have four. <laughs> I have four. Sometimes my wife says I'm the fifth kid. Yeah. Yes. Um, you going to spend some time with the family? Yeah. I'll Good. see two of my three children. Good. Wonderful. One is out on the West Coast. Yeah. So. And if I know you, you'll also probably yeah. still come into the hospital over the holidays and check on the staff because that's something yes. that's very important to you as well. Absolutely. Uh, what's your favorite holiday movie? So I have a couple. Okay, go for it. But So we have Christmas Story. Yeah, Christmas Story <laughs> for Gile. It's a fun one. And then I do love Miracle on 34th Street. Classic. Classic. Yeah. Love it. I mean, who, who doesn't like Elf, right? Yeah, Elf. Uh, and certainly, <laughs> uh, It's a Wonderful Life. I mean, yes. the classic. Yep. Uh, there. I will make a recommendation to the parents out there, or to anybody really. Uh, but in our family, we've always been a big fan of Prep and Landing. Have you ever seen those no. movies? So there are two shorts. Uh, they are put out kind of by the Pixar team, Prep and Landing. Prep and Landing. If you haven't seen them, you're welcome because you're going to love them. So right, I encourage you to uh, check those out. <laughs> Hopefully tonight they'll get some more viewings because they are fantastic. Okay. So, all right, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for everything you do. And obviously, you know, all of the nursing leadership and our entire team here for, uh, for everything they do. And I guess the next time we do this, it'll be 2023. So. Well, happy holidays and thank you for all you do. Thank you, Mac. Okay. Thanks. To everyone working over the holidays, we appreciate you now more than ever. Obviously, we're open 24-7. It takes really a dedicated team to be in here caring for our community when others may be at home. So thank you very much. And we look forward to seeing you in 2023. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we'll see you next year.